Crow Jarrett burned his career to the ground by outing himself as a paedophile and a cheat. So, someone's got to take over the E3 press conference reviews, right? Uh, but this time, with 100% less sending nudes to minors and asking for them in return, 100% less cheating, and maybe about 80% more optimism. Um, so with that said, we start with EA Play, which is the first press conference, although it wasn't sort of a press conference, they were more sort of copying uh, Nintendo's Treehouse kind of thing, you know when Nintendo have three days of Treehouse where they... Uh, so for example, um, Nintendo's gonna have a little 45 minute or so uh, live stream press conference um, and it's gonna show a bunch of different games and then the Treehouse will spend a half an hour to an hour or more on each of those games over the course of a few days. It's pretty cool! Uh, EA decided to do something similar except without the initial press conference and also it was Oh, oh. You know why I said that 80% optimism thing? I'm I'm a very optimistic person. I love hype. But Jesus Christ. Oh, this conference was bad. Okay, so uh we we start with um with Star Wars Fallen Order. Um and that was by far the best thing that was shown off. Uh, throughout the stream. So this was, I should probably preface this, this was three hours long! 30 minutes per game, they showed six games, and... Games is an overstatement. What we really saw was about 45 minutes of games, and I'm being generous here, and two and a half hours of talking. And it, oh, God, it's so boring! So, unfortunately, sort of, I guess, it's maybe a blessing, um, my internet kept dying throughout the stream, it's just been a horrible night for my internet. Um, so I did miss a couple of things here and there. I don't think that really matters, to be honest. I really don't think it matters. Um, and that's okay. Uh, so I, I went back and checked over a couple of things I missed. Um, I also recognise that this stream wasn't meant for me. A lot of the games from this stream, um... I, are games that I'm personally not into, um, so I, I fully respect that. But it's more the fact that nothing happened for so much of this. So, as I say, start with Star Wars Fallen Order, um, and it looks really cool. It's set um, after uh, Star Wars Episode Three, um, with uh, the, he's the main character is one of the few survivors of Order sixty six, and it's really cool. It's just the gameplay looks stunning. It reminds me a lot of Force Unleashed, um, but just I guess updated, but the stuff that you can do with the force uh, and with your lightsaber and just how you can take down enemies, really cool. You can sort of slow down time with the force, like they, they you slow down time with the force, you they force bring a stormtrooper and then just push him into the blast, just oh, genius, love that kind of stuff. You can throw your lightsaber and then force it back, just so fun looking. Using um, the force to manipulate um, the architecture as well, which is really cool. Um, and just sort of to get across uh, gaps and whatnot. Just really nice stuff. Loads of really, really cool features that will make a fun Star Wars game. And it is a single player campaign, no microtransactions. Maybe there'll be DLC somewhere down the line, but no ma microtransactions and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I, I really like that. Um, and the chat went like super like meme mode and did loads of copy pastas. Um, so, uh,. The first one was Twitch chat. You guys are honestly the absolute worst. I I honestly couldn't imagine going to the movies watching something with you all. And then another one, the one immediately after that was, imagine being so toxic you want a game to die just because you don't play. What's wrong with you? Need a hug? And just... And then the, the, the next one, just beautiful. This is exactly why I hate Twitch chat. This chat is pure, unadulterated, 100% stupidity. This is why I'm turning off Twitch chat and will just watch the professional gameplay. There wasn't much gameplay being shown off. Um, and I swear to God, if any of you copy and paste this, I'm deleting my account forever. And naturally, the internet being what it is, really got on board with that. So, the thing that I'll go into, especially with this, is like, you're, you're gonna see here that, that what they went for was not anything new. Nothing in this g Okay, so there were new DLCs and new things that they were announced, but 
they didn't show off anything new, there weren't any major surprises, there weren't any new games, there weren't any indie showcases. For the last couple of years, EA has been like, oh, we've got an indie group, uh, we've got a bunch of indie groups, we're, we're supporting indie devs, we, we're really passionate about this this uh, part of our company, and we, we want to want to promote more indie games. And we've had some fantastic ones over the years. In particular, last year, we saw a game called Sea of Solitude. Now, it's... I don't think it's like a... It's not hit everyone's radar, and it's a shame, because it looks great. It doesn't have um, the same gameplay as Shadow of the Colossus, but it, it sort of gives me, gives me the vibe of Shadow of the Colossus, but in Venice, kind of. Um, it looks really cool. Um, and, yeah, just nothing dedicated to indies at all. No... No thing, no new announcements, no like surprise Need for Speed game or Burnout if that's ever going to come back. Um, so next up was Apex Legends. Um, they basically announced season two, and there's a new ranked mode, a new character, um, some kind of map event similar to Fortnite that's going to change how it looks. There's giant dinosaurs. Um, I don't play Apex Legends, but I know somebody does, and if you do, that's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, um, Next was Battlefield 5, new maps in June, July, August, and I think there's some more after that as well. Again, I don't play Battlefield 5, but if you're into it, that's cool. They did show off the maps a little bit, not much, but it was probably, bes besides Star Wars, because they showed off 15 minutes of gameplay for Star Wars, which was really cool, they didn't show much for Apex. They, they showed bits here and there, but it was, it was very much repeat footage. Um, same with Battlefield, I think. Uh, they showed the new maps. So they, I think actually they only showed two of the maps, one showcased a lot more than the other, but I think they showed two and the other one they just like, oh, it's not ready yet, so it's fair enough. Um, I might be misremembering my internet was cutting out a bit. Um, also, I'm drained, like, I, it's three hours long, and I've watched conferences which, or I've watched Nintendo Treehouses for like eight plus hours before, and just been like, oh, this is awesome, this is cool, I'm super excited, I'm super pumped, I'm just, I'm, I'm interested, because I'm seeing what the game can do, I'm getting excited about what's new, and this just didn't show anything, and that goes to the next point um, with FIFA. FIFA um, 20, basically, they've got, they've sort of brought back FIFA Street. It's got street gameplay, and that's super cool. The problem is, they didn't show any of it. Like, <laughs> they showed no gameplay! For like anything, they showed a couple of free kicks and they showed a, a penalty section but like that. They didn't show any of the street gameplay. They did a montage. They talked to some actual footballers. Which is like that. That's cool. But you didn't show any street gameplay. Like I, I played FIFA Street. I played the first FIFA Street uh, back when it came out. And I loved it. I thought it was a really cool game. Really interesting to play. But I didn't know why? <laughs> like why would you not? Um. Before FIFA Street, they actually um, wasn't on the list. They talked about uh, to a guy about Battlefront 2. Uh, they didn't show anything new or tell anything new. They just went over what the announcements earlier in the week. Um, uh, the Droidicas and uh, Felucia from Clone Wars, uh, stuff like that. Um, then after FIFA, they went and talked about EA is donating $1 million to, dollars to free charities, to stopping online bullying, which is actually really cool. Really up for that. Like, I really appreciate that they do that. That's super awesome. Um... Uh, they talked to a guy briefly about Anthem, he did not announce anything new, he just said um, that as a team they've learned a lot and there is a future of some description, but that was it. It was very bare bones and looked very improvised. Um, then uh, we got to see a bit of Madden, um, there's new career campaign, new ultimate missions, playbooks, new animation technology. They they actually did show quite a lot of gameplay for Madden, which if you're into Madden, like I I I've seen a bit of football. Um, it's it's not broadcast um, in the UK as much, especially if you don't have sports channels. Uh, if you just had the standard channels, it's not on often. It's not easy to see. Um, but I've seen it a couple of times. It's cool. I like football. I think it's an interesting sport. Um, but I've never played any of the games. Um, so, I imagine for people who like Madden, um, that was probably great. There's loads of new stuff that there's, that's to be excited for. Um, and that, that's fantastic. And then finally they showed off uh, Sims 4. They've got a new island pack, and uh, mermaids are back, and it's it's actually super cool. Um, the, the amount of, um, uh, like, the, the customization for the mermaids looks super cool. I, I liked a lot how it looked. 
Um, they also teased um, they're adding uh, a Realm of Magic expansion um, that will come out um, in the fall. Um, so that was it. Um, as well as I say, like, it was like two and a half hours of talking, 45 minutes. Oh, let's stretch to an hour of gameplay, and that is being so generous. And I feel like I'm going to be generous here as well, but I'm going to grade the, the conference. I mean, it wasn't a conference, it was EA Play, but it's still a conference of sorts. It is, it is their press event. Um, and yeah, I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. I am an optimistic, positive person, and I love hype, and I love E3. It's like Christmas for me. But this was one of the most boring events I've ever seen. And I know that EEA has had a, like, a reputation for being a bad company, or maybe not making the greatest things in the universe, but you know what? This was so boring! <laughs> like, I seriously hope that a lot of people will also share this viewpoint, and they are vocal about it, because EA, please, please don't ever do this again. You didn't announce anything new. You it was, it was just so boring. <laughs> like, I don't want to be negative. I would love to be positive, but oh boy, it was bad. But anyway, I guess we'll, uh, we'll end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the review. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around. I will be um, uploading reactions to the events. I'm not doing it for EA because I was bored for all of it and tired. Um, but yeah, um, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.